I've amended my soil here. Uh, what I've done is, you know, I brought in a bunch of compost, a little bit of calcitic lime and rock dust. And with my pitchfork, I worked that in, um, not really double digging, but single digging, if you will, you know, just really digging that into the top 12 inches or so of soil. Um, and I've uh, dug my hole. So as you can see, the hole is much wider than the root ball, probably about twice as wide, just because the digging was so easy here. And now I wanna tell you how I arrived at the depth, which is uh, probably even more important than the width. Um, here's how I did that. A lot of times people will just um, kind of dig to, kind of like I do with a lot of my little perennial and annual plants, um, you know, plant it so that the soil from the ground comes up to wherever the tree was planted. As we saw in this case, the tree was planted too deep. The soil came up to uh, here, and that's very common. So what you want to do is you want to dig down, and um, if, you know, if you have your burlap, you would have taken off the burlap. Dig down and find that topmost root, which is what I did before. Then when I found that topmost root, I want to measure from it to the bottom of the root ball. So there's my topmost root, there's the bottom of the root ball, that's my depth right there. Um, that's my maximum depth. <laughs> I may want to plant it more shallow than that. Um, usually I'm going to plant it perhaps, you know, a tiny little bit more shallow than that, 5%. So 5% of the root ball is up, up uh, above the soil level. Um, if I have a very rocky soil or a very clay soil, I might bring it up 10, 15, maybe even 20%, so 20% of the root ball is out of the uh, soil. It's much more of a problem to plant too deep than to plant too shallow. Uh, if it's too deep, you know, there's a problem with air covering the trunk, air getting to the roots. Um, if you plant it shallow, you're not gonna have that problem. You'll have lots of air getting down in there, water getting down in there. Um, it's almost impossible to have circling roots if you plant it nice and shallow, uh, unless they already are circling. But if you, know, if you plant too deep, there's a good chance that roots are gonna come up to the surface and kind of circle around and strangle out the plant. Um, so we don't want that. So we wanna plant a little bit shallow. So what, I did, so what I did then is I just come over here, boom, that's my depth. Um, that's all there is to that. If, uh, if I were planting on a slope, I would just want to make it so that um, so that the top part, let's say this was sloping up, sloping up like this. The, that depth, that depth uh, would want to be at the top part of the slope so that my topmost root is level with the top of the slope. Then a lot of the root ball, you know, maybe 30% of the root ball is going to be um, at the bottom end, is going to be out of the slope. Hard to explain this without a slope. But um, what I'm going to have to do is berm up around the bottom of the plant. Basically, it's going to be even more shallow on a slope. Uh, you're not going to compensate by averaging it out or anything like that. You want it to be, um, you don't want to bury anything. So that's slopes. Um, I'm going to plant this thing in a minute. Oh, only other thing is underneath the root ball, I don't want to loosen that soil up. A lot of people seem to think you want to, they want to loosen that up. Um, I actually want a nice firm bed of soil so that the tree doesn't sink. Um, if it's extremely compacted, you could take a drill and drill some holes down in there to maybe encourage roots to go down. Maybe that's futile, I don't know. But uh, you want it to be pretty solid there. So if you do accidentally dig too deep, um, you want to actually stomp it back down. Or, you know, yeah, you want it to be pretty firm. So that's that. Um, I think I'll go ahead and plant this now. Perhaps I'll do another video for that.